So, what's your name? Uh, Bob. Bob, come stand here for me. Very good to meet you. All right, do you wear a watch? Yeah. Great, fantastic. Would you take that off me for a second? I won't damage it or uh, muck around. Can I change the time on it? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, all right, thank you. I'm going to set this to a time that I don't want you to see. Uh... Okay. I want to put this back on your wrist, though, but without you seeing the time I've set it to, if that makes sense. So if you put your hand up, palm up. Okay. <laughs> Great. Leave your hand there for me. Right. Drop your other hand down there. So I've set that to a time. Hopefully you're going to be able to pick up what this time is. All right. So I'm going to, as I talk to you now, just imagine a clock face in your mind, a big clock face just here, with the numbers going one, two, three, four, five, that way around, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay. And then get a, a number in your mind for the uh, for the hour. What hour is it? What are you thinking of? Two. Two. Great. So you're on two two o'clock at the moment. All right. Now do you want to go for minutes? Do you want to go for exactly two o'clock or a number of minutes past two? Up to you. Exactly two o'clock. You want to stick with spot yeah. on two o'clock? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> that is two o'clock on the dock. It was a very vivid picture. As soon as he you know, said, think of the time, that was it. There was no question about it. That was the time that I was going to go for.